Welcome back, Kinders. Here we go with another story about plants. Today, we're going to learn the life cycle of a plant. So let's go to our vocabulary so we know what we're talking about. The first word is germinate. Now, when something's germinating, that means it's starting to grow. So germinate means to start to grow. Our second word is mature. When something is mature, that means it developed to its full adult or full grown animal or plant capacity. Example, it takes time for a seedling to mature into full grown adult plant. Our third word is sapling. A sapling is a young tree. Every day I check the sapling we planted to see how much it has grown. Sapling, it's just a small tree. Our fourth word is seedlings. Those are the baby plants that have grown from a seed. An example is at the apple orchard, we saw many seedlings that will one day grow into apple trees. So the seedling is that small baby plant. Let's start with our read aloud today. You have already learned about different parts of a plant, and one of those parts is called the seed. And that's where you can find lots of seeds on this picture. Many plants begin with a seed. Seeds come in all shapes and sizes. As you might guess, the seeds from a different plant looks different. Look at all these different kinds of seeds. This one up here, that's a coconut. Yep, that's a seed. And over here, we have some peanuts. Yep. Those are seeds. So we have some walnuts, pistachios. These are all nut seeds. Very nice. Each seed is a plant waiting to sprout or grow. If the seed is planted in the right place, then the seed will sprout and it'll grow into a new plant. Only a sunflower can grow from a sunflower seed. And only an apple tree can grow from an apple seed. What type of plant do you think would grow if you planted a watermelon seed? That's right, a watermelon. How about a pumpkin seed? Yep, a pumpkin. That's the only thing that can grow from a pumpkin seed. Here we have some examples of germination. That's how plants grow. Seeds are the beginning of the new plants. And like we can see here, it's starting to sprout. Like all living things, plants live according to a life cycle. A life cycle includes the stages and the changes that happen in living things at different times. The life cycle of a plant starts with a seed and most seeds have nutrients inside them already that feed the new plants for just a little while. In order to germinate or begin growing into new plants, seeds must have water, light from the sun, and nutrients from the soil. When a baby plant first starts to grow from a seed, it looks very different from a fully grown or mature plant. Baby plants are called seedlings right here. This image shows a plant's growth from germination to seedlings and here's how it goes. The seed starts to sprout. And just as it begins, germination begins when the seed gets just the right amount of light and sun and water and nutrients. This causes that seed to open up and the seedling to poke up through the soil just a little bit. If you look carefully at the first picture, you can see that new plant is just starting to grow right here. And it's growing its first root, this white part, that's the roots starting to grow. The next picture shows the same plant after several days. Look how that root looks now. As the plant grows, you can see the thin roots branching off. Little tinier ones are coming off of it. The root absorbs water and nutrients and pushes it up through this stem, which grows above the ground. Then it gets a little bigger and it finally we have a seedling. Look at all these roots that it's put down. 
Here is a seedling, and it takes time for a seedling to grow into a full-grown adult plant. The amount of time it takes depends on the type of plant. If you plant a sunflower seed, it will take about a month before the seedling begins to look more like a full-grown plant. If you plant an apple seed, it will take several years for the seedling to grow into an apple tree, a full-grown one. When the plant dies, it decays and breaks down into little pieces and goes back into the ground to become nutrients in the soil. So a new life cycle of the plant begins. So when something decays, it dies down. And can you see all this little debris and stuff? That's from plants before. And that's what helps feed the new plants. So now let's explore the life cycle of this oak tree. The acorn over here contains the seed of an oak. You may have seen acorns before on the ground outside next to a full-grown tree or being carried away by squirrels. They love to eat them. Squirrels spend all day running around looking for food and hiding. They bury so many acorns that they forget where they put them sometimes. And the acorn the squirrel forgets stays in the soil, giving the oak seed a, inside a little better chance to germinate underground. Now, what does germinate mean? Right, that means begin growing into a new plant. Once the seed sprouts, it will quickly grow into a seedling, but the young tree will only grow a foot or two in its first year. Here's a young oak tree. After a few years, the oak tree is going to grow to a height of about 10 feet or more. That's taller than a door but if it's, it's still considered a young tree, or they call it a sapling. This tree will still be called a sapling for several years to come. Oak trees take a long time to mature or grow into an adult form of a plant. In fact, it takes about 50 years for the average oak tree to mature so it can produce acorns. An ac oak tree can produce tens of thousands thousands of acorns over a course of lifetime. Only a few of those acorns will germinate or grow into a new oak tree. Some oak trees can live for over 200 years. Eventually, like all living things though, the oak tree will die. The oak tree will die slowly over a course of several years. It will produce fewer and fewer leaves each time each year. Its branches will start to drop off one by one and gradually its wood will become softer and softer. Finally, the roots will die and the tree will fall down with a big crash on the forest floor and the tree's branches will be the first to rot, disappear into the soil but the woody trunk will take many years to decay. So here it is falling down, and this is part of the trunk. And then down here, this is when it's all decayed down and gone back into the soil. All of the nutrients in the wood will decay and become part of the soil once more. The more decayed plants there are in the soil, the more nutrients the soil will have. And the more nutrients there are, the easier it will be for new seeds, like the acorn to germinate and grow. As we have all seen, all plants live according to a life cycle. This diagram shows you the life cycle of a sunflower. First, we have seeds and that begins the new plant. The seeds sprout and send down a root. Then they send up a sprout. The roots get deeper. The sprout grows into a flower and a stem. Then it grows up, then it withers and dies and drops its seeds. And this cycle starts over and over again. That's why it's called a cycle. Eventually this plant's gonna be mature again and it's gonna drop its seeds again and the new life cycle will start again. Let's check your comprehension to see if you remember what we've just talked about. A plant's life cycle begins with what part of our plant? You're right, it starts with the seeds. Number two, what parts of a plant do seedlings have? 
A seedling has roots and stems and leaves. And what is a seedling? A seedling is a young plant. Number three, explain the life cycle of a plant. First, the seed germinates and then it sprouts into a seedling. Next, the seedling continues to grow until it's an adult plant. Then the adult plant will make more seeds and then new plants will finally grow from those seeds. Let's do some word work. In the read aloud, you heard oak trees take a long time to mature. In fact, it takes about 50 years for an average oak tree to mature so that it can produce acorns. Say the word mature with me. Mature means to grow into an adult or a full grown animal or plant. I can see beans on a, my bean plant so it has started to mature. Tell the, about the plants here. Try to use the word mature. Tell me if it's necessary. Tell me a baby can mature into an adult. What's the word we've been talking about? Mature. That means growing into a full adult sized plant or animal. Let's make some choices. I'm going to list some things. If you think these are mature, you give me a thumbs up. If you think that this item is a not mature, in other words, it's not a full grown adult, you give me a thumbs down. A kitten. If it's mature, you should say, oh, Kittens are not mature. Put your thumbs down. A seed. Not mature. Thumbs down. A hat. Thumbs up. A hat doesn't get any better. It's always a hat. A baby turtle. Thumbs down. A baby turtle is not mature. A table. Thumbs up. A table is already mature. It doesn't grow and it doesn't start out as a baby. Well, oh, thanks for listening today. When you tell me about the life cycle, will you tell me how a seed grows? And then post it back to me. Thank you.